Hello, I'm Joanna Howe. Welcome to my free project. We're going to paint seven paintings over seven days during the Children's Mental Health Week, where you can cheer up and just spend some time just all by yourself doing something nice. So uh, we already uh, completed a project uh, of a little mushroom in a purple color. Today we're going to do a blue cat. Why did we choose blue? Sometimes everyone's got a blue day and our cat actually is not facing us. He's turned his back on us. That's because he just want to be on his own. Sometimes you, we all got days when we just want to be on our own and spend some time in our own space. And this days can be a blue days, which can be a bit sad sometimes. So never mind, we're going to move on to our lovely project, a blue cat. So first we're going to start with the shape of our cat. We're going to do two ears on the top and a head. Going to go slimmer down. And we'll have his body, the tail. And even that shape is a bit sad. We're going to cheer him up a bit and we're going to add up a color for a cushion he's going to sit on. He's going to be looking at his little friend there. A mouse and to um, to improve our composition a bit we're gonna add up a lamp hanging from a ceiling with a spot colorful spots on so this is our simple picture for today first we're gonna paint the cat blue so all we're gonna do is just add just different colors I'm using uh, major brushes again simple easy Colouring cat in different shades. I actually I've got a set of this set where I've got four luckily I've got four different blues which I can use on my cat. As you can see they've got different hues, different colours. They're not the same, some are a bit colder, some a bit warmer, darker, lighter. And then you can lighten them up by adding more water to your shape as well. And after, you can add up some more of uh, watercolour pastels or pencils. That's our cat. There he is. Easy peasy. We've got a blue cat looking backwards he's not looking at us and then we want I said we want to add a bit more of color so I'm gonna add colors to my lamp and a cushion they will be the same shades um, I'm gonna use pinks and just to make it more colorful oranges I love orange one of my favorite colors so it's as well one of those days, you know, when um, sometimes you just got a day, oh, I just want to be on my own, leave me alone, everyone, and I just want to spend some time thinking about something. Um, but you feel in blue, but all the world is not changing. Sometimes you might get somebody really cheerful on that day, and it's really annoying you even more because you're like, oh, God, leave me alone. I just want to spend time all by myself I'm gonna try to make that lamp yellow probably gonna leak through it never mind I'm gonna add this yellow in between that cushion all right what color shall we do the mouse obviously gray why not now to you know i like my backgrounds busy you don't have to but i like it when i've got loads of dirty dots all over my painting so i'm gonna go for some dots you just tap on your brush and that's how you get them on and a bit of yellow ones it's good idea to cover the shape because as you can see sometimes the dots might go on a shape you're painting 
and I like my background to be busy, not necessarily my shape though. But now once you dry in this, if you see there's too much water and it starts running around the picture, you can tap it with a bit of tissue. So you're not going to have lines on the painting, that makes sense. So I'm going to show you what we've got so far. So this is our cut so far. Now we can add more colors with pencils, a bit of shading again on the side. Like his tail, purplish. I'm gonna add a bit of gray on the side, so my picture is in grayish. And on the mouse. And we can, uh, of course, I'm gonna add my yellow. You know, I like the yellow. I'm frighten up my cushion. So fill up the gaps between the, where the paint didn't get. So if you worry that, oh no, I haven't painted all my cushion and it's not got, it doesn't have, it's not covered, it's not completely covered, then you can just fill this gap with the yellow pencil. Um, or any color of pencil really and then so you don't have to worry about being really precise especially with the watercolors they're okay, so um forgetful i would say this bottom no. we can um light him up a bit with our add a bit of water to this Depth with the uh, watercolor pastas that was okay. Now we can add our details, so we will go for obviously outline of our cat. Remember, this does not have to be precise, you can have a white space between the paint and the cat, it doesn't really matter. Remember, you're doing this for fun. You can give this picture to someone or just hang it at home just to remind you about this nice time you could spend making art all by yourself or with your friends if they join in or with your parents or siblings what was with you today um this is a part of my free project for the children's mental health week and we were talking about blue today because sometimes we just got a blue day when we just don't want to talk to anyone, we just want to be on our own, spend time on our own and then join our own company. And that's what our cat doing today. So today was our second painting. Um, this is your blue cat. A uh, little picture just to cheer you up. It does take 10 minutes uh, to do. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And of course, I had a little accident dropping my phone recording this one. Hope you didn't mind. <laughs>